What's up everyone and welcome to another Rust electrical tutorial. I'm Austin and today I'm going to be talking about the idea of power sharing multiple circuits on one battery or more specifically the idea of power sh sharing multiple circuits that would otherwise be too much for one battery. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with a demonstration like I normally do. Uh, and over here I've got this, this medium battery as an example. Uh, and it is running over here to the power sharing circuit. And essentially what I've got is side A is a mock base with just some random stuff I chose to throw in here that totals 43 rust watts. Side B is the I've chosen to do turrets. I think this is probably the most common thing people will use this for. Uh, and these total 44 rust watts requirement with their switches. Um, so totaling that together, 44 and 43 would be 87. That is more than the, the max 50 rust watts that a, uh, a medium battery can put out. Um, so the idea is that you are normally in the default configuration of the memory cell, which is the inverted output side. And so I'll just turn all the stuff on. This is just our arbitrary base. And I'm going to make myself visible right now. I'm in vanish mode so that this this uh, HBHF sensor will see me and toggle the power share. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make myself physical. There it goes. And so now we've swapped from side A to side B because it detected me and now we have our turrets. So we're sharing power between two sides uh, for a common goal. And it allows you to have a battery with, uh, you know, you can basically get more out of a battery if you choose uh, to go this way. So I'm gonna make myself invisible again. If I hit this reset button, we swap back over to side A and now we're back in, you know, what you might call base mode or whatever. Um, okay, so that is that. We're gonna go ahead and get started as, as for the build. Uh, it's very, very simple. I have a power bank over here like I normally do. I will place a link in the video for that if you'd like to know more about that. But essentially I've got this medium battery that I'm using as an as example. It has a, a max output of 50 rust watts. Um, so I am sending it 80 just to simulate the idea you know, 50 divided by 0 0.8 is 62.5. So 63 minimum you have to send to it. Um, you know, 65, 70 is what you should. So I, I, I gave it 80 just to, to represent the idea that you would need four uh, solar panels in order to power this whole idea. Um, and so this is just arbitrary that I chose a medium battery. You could do this with a large battery and share 100 and 100 and use up to 200 rust watts worth of stuff. Um, so I'm just using a medium battery because I tend to just ignore these guys. Uh, so over here, uh, the battery is running here. If we have our output, our input of course is coming from our charging mock for our pretend for uh, solar panels. The output of this, the power output of this battery is running over to a branch right here. I'm gonna turn this stuff off, it's kinda loud. There we go. I'm gonna turn and run this over to this branch here. Um, and then this branch, you're going to leave in its default configuration because you're going to send uh, to the, the default two out or going to run into this HBHF sensor uh, into the power in and that's from the branch out to the power of the HBHF sensor, the power out of that HBHF sensor is going to run to this set uh, input on the side here, the set input is associated with the output on that and the uh, reset is associated with the inverted output on the memory cell in case you did not know that. Um, the HPHF sensor itself, I have it set to exclude authorized, include others. You would wanna do the opposite of that. I'm doing that for a demonstration so it detects me. You would wanna set it to include authorized and exclude others specifically. Uh, and then the power out of that branch there is running to the power in on this memory cell. It is now using power since the semi-recent update. Um, it's inverted output is going to be our default side. I'm calling it side A. This is going to be base mode, whatever you want to call it. You don't have to do it this way. This just makes the most sense to me. So the inverted output here, this is what's going to run to the standard items in our base. So I have this running to this power chain here and I'm just, you know, and I have all that stuff hooked up, which is not, not important how I did that. So this is either running, running to the base. Um, it says 23. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, cause it, that's, that's a lie. Uh, the output side of the memory cell, the, the other output, it is running to side B. In this case, I have these turrets. So it's the four turrets and their four associated switches totaling 44 rust watts uh, and that's side B. And so the idea here is that we are taking 50, uh, you know, 50 available rust watts and you add this up 44 and 43 is 87. Um, that's too much for this battery. So we're sharing it. We're saying, well, on one side, you know, using the power of the memory cell on one side, we're going to power our base. And on the other side, we're gonna power whatever else. In this case, I've chosen four turrets because I think that's a, a 
pr probably what most people you know might use this for so um and that's pretty much it it's a really 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 simple build so just make sure that you don't use this setup make sure you do the opposite um exclude authorize uh oops i messed that so in exclude authorize include authorize exclude others is what you should say uh it's just so that it detects raiders and not you if it detects you just swap it to the other the other side and you'll be you'll be fine so um a couple of things i'll turn this back on so we can see that it's running uh right now we're on the uh the inverted output side you'll notice it says 23 you know i've got uh, what 50 arriving here from the medium battery um two of it two are going out of here this is usually one so that's three so we should have 47 leaving here 47 arriving here this uses one so 46 left over so it's telling you that it's 23 and 23 it is not it is sending all 46 out of whatever uh output is currently active and right now we're on the inverted or default side of the inverted output so there is 46 uh coming out of here and arriving here even though it says 23 because if you look in here 11 it you know it that's not that doesn't add up you have 34 coming out of here so you do have the full 46 you just have to ignore that the easiest way to do this is to just take these two outputs and add them up whatever they add up that's what's coming out of your your active current active output so we'll just run it one more time we're on side a i'll make myself visible there we go the hbhf sensor has detected me we've swapped over to side b we're power sharing to side b now our turrets are up make myself vis invisible again and let's say that you the raiders are gone you've repelled the attack or whatever and you can reset the system back to base mode so you know this is an optional thing it's kind of a fun thing but for like maybe a solo player this could be a real uh unique thing to do uh because it only you know you don't have to have a windmill you can have you know four four uh solar panels if you're only using a medium battery so let you get away with less battery power uh, and you can choose, you know, between the two sides, the, the things you want to to share. Maybe you have this kind of stuff going with side A, and then maybe you have a farm that you swap over your power to to power your farm, uh, so you don't have to have more power. So, so that, folks, is just about all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Otherwise, you can get me on my Discord. See you later. <laughs>